Hello, everyone. This is Phil Ellis from Cleveland Software Design. I'm going to demonstrate our new solenoid life extender. This works similar to the original design. It's just a little more efficient and a uh, little more sophistication. This one will work with any solenoid that you have. Um, it's completely adjustable. And uh, so it's a pretty, pretty nice uh, addition to the products that I have today. So I'm just going to demonstrate real quick. I got a solenoid here and I've got the life extender and I got a 12 volt uh, voltage source. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the solenoid. You can see it activated really well, uh, but my voltage on the solenoid right now is only 1.9 volts and I'm only using about uh, 0.1 amps. So it's really super efficient. And what's actually happening is you get the full 12 volts across the solenoid initially. But after 25 milliseconds, it drops it down to this, this current, uh, that you can actually set. So you can see it's activated right now. And if I want to, there's a little adjustment knob on here that I can turn. And if you watch as I turn it, uh, your current will actually increase. So you can, you can increase the current make it run a little higher in voltage and current, or you can decrease it all the way down till the solenoid drops out. You can see that usually happens around. <laughs> 1.5 volts yeah there you go so it dropped out right there and so we know that that's about as low as we can go I'll turn it up a little higher than that and we can go ahead and turn it on and there you go so works like a champ and uh so you can see it even at the lowest end here you can get it so your solenoid is barely using any current at all i mean you're talking you're in the one watt range there, which the solenoid can easily dissipate without any problem whatsoever. Won't hardly even get warm at that point. And uh, the other thing that's cool about this is it's also adjustable in other ways, and I'll show you that too. So on this board, uh, you can see that's a little screw that I was adjusting to set the the current voltage to the solenoid. There's also this little jumper right here that I can pull off, and this is set right here. This is for uh, 25 milliseconds. So it's pretty quick, but most solenoids can activate in that time. However, if you have a solenoid that's different and needs a little more time to activate fully, you can increase it all the way up to, uh, max is 200 milliseconds all the way on this last two prongs here. So it's adjustable from 25 milliseconds all the way up to 200 milliseconds. And it can adjust the voltage from about 1.5 volts all the way up to probably seven or eight volts. So pretty much works with any solenoid that you could throw at it. So that's pretty much it. And just, just to show like what kind of current you'd be looking at. If you didn't use the life extender, I'll go ahead and just hook this guy up real quickly. <laughs> Straight to the leads, which I wouldn't normally do, but just to demonstrate it, you can see <laughs> when I activate it now. Oh, it actually hit the current limit. Hold on. Turn that up a little bit. Uh, oh, it doesn't like that. Oh, that's why. There we go. Let's do the wrong adjustment for my current. There we go. So you can see it's running at like uh, three and a half amps. So it's close to 30 watts or so. You wouldn't want that going through that solenoid. It would die uh, pretty quickly if you ran it like that. For more than probably a couple minutes, it would start to overheat you'd start to have breakdown of the coil. Um, so that's why it's really important to have something like this. And this, you know, not only does it extend the life of the solenoid, uh, but it also allows you to use a much smaller power supply to power all these solenoids at the same time. So, you know, you're talking three or four amps at 12 volts. And if you've got 10 of these things, you need a huge power supply to power all these. Through these life extenders, uh, you can run all of them off of like a 50 watt power supply, a really small power supply. Uh, so it's really nice and, and because it activates so quickly 25 milliseconds you don't even need a very large dynamic range power supply to make it work so these are pretty easy to hook up you just put your power in and get your power out to your solenoid and it works pretty nicely and everyone happy pinballing i'll see you next time